Hello guys and welcome uh, to my channel. Now, um, I appreciate you stopping by. Let's see, can you spot the new addition to this uh, V-Dub collection? Obviously I'm missing one of them. Actually I'm missing quite a few. But anyways, got a very cool uh, deal on a very awesome car that I'm a big fan of uh, in real life and also uh, in um, diecast. So, well, not a lot of brands make it in diecast, but I'll be talking about a very cool one today. So let's just get rid of the ones that you already know. Green light, awesome casting by Green Light, definitely. I'm very excited for their new GTI, which I will be getting, but I don't know which versions yet. Maybe just the white one and the red one. I guess those are the only ones out. This is Shuko. Very, very awesome casting also. Uh, very, very sweet and nicely detailed. Lens details, fantastic. Green light, I love the color on this one. Awesome, you got the opening hood, of course. Green light, nice. Nice engine detail in there. Pretty sweet, pretty awesome. Painted tail lights, cool. And then Shuko, this is, I guess this is my favorite out of all of them, out of these uh, V like hatchbacks. Uh, I love the front detail on this one and the rear detail to me looks better than the white version of the GTI. Mainly because I think the black, the color underneath the lens detail makes it look a little bit better. The white one is just way too clear, like way, way too clear. Anyways, all right, yeah, not gonna talk about those anymore. That's what I'm gonna talk about, yeah. Uh, this I've shown in my in my in my channel before. Uh, it's a pretty awesome casting. It's I love it. It's a fantastic car. Uh, as you know, I I swapped the wheels, and I accidentally broke off the exhaust, and I also swapped that for a new one. Changed it to that. It's a pen tip, and it's very sweet because the details are amazing on this car. It's a very light casting though, uh, and these are N064 wheels, which they look fantastic on it. All right, and. Uh, the new addition is, of course, you already know by now, uh, is this one. Now, this one was very, very cool. Uh, got a very awesome deal on it. And uh, lens details, very sweet. VW bags, right there, pretty awesome. Side details, nice car all around. Uh, rear detail, uh, tail light also, very, very awesome. Let's see if my camera focuses. There it is, Volkswagen. And um, awesome, right? So you got the details. And then something very cool that I just noticed, you got a rear view mirror in there, in the interior. You can see that right there. All right, so let's go to the details that I added. I swapped the wheels. I don't. I ended up not liking it. So I don't like, I don't like this wheel swap that I did, by the way. So let me just say that straight. Uh, so you guys know about that. Uh, also, I swapped the uh, exhaust. I did the same, the same thing. Now this one I did it intentionally. Right? This this one did not break off accidentally. I just I did it on purpose, and I think it, it gives it a more um, nice dubbed out look, which is pretty cool. Now I'll be swapping these wheels back. I don't like these at all. Um, it, I think it looks a little bit goofy, maybe kind of ghettoish. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you do like it. Let me know what you think about it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, let me know. I like the rear view, mir the mirrors on the side mirrors here. You got the realistic look, which is very cool. Something about this casting though, you gotta be careful when you're holding it because you can you can easily scratch off the paint right there. And you're not scratching the base, the white, but you're scratching that, like I scratched that black trim, which I guess it's very, very easy to remove because I did not, I was just holding it tight like this so I could swap the wheels and it just fell off right there. And that's very easy to remove. And I guess that's the whole thing around this this uh, side trim, which is, you gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, fantastic car. I mean, look at that. It just looks amazing. I'm sorry about the wheels. I'll swap those out and I'll give it a more, like a better look. I'll be I, hopefully I'll be getting some nice wheels uh, soon um, and yeah and yeah I just think they look great together 
Obviously, the gray one is still my favorite. Uh, the white one, maybe the wheels are, maybe I'll get it some better wheels and I'll look a little bit better. All right, so let me talk about the bases. This is ba this base right here is for the uh, gray one, which is pretty sweet, right? And also this base is for the white one. Now, something very interesting about these cars, you probably, as you see, you may think, and I also believe they are the same casting. It's completely the same casting. There's really nothing different in these castings. And I've, uh, maybe I'll show you the underneath also for you to see, check it out. It's like, just like, they even use the same screws, <laughs> right? You see that same casting completely all around. Um, but they are branded differently. This, the gray one is by the, this is the box that it came in, and this is pretty cool, right? Uh, the box says here in the back, Old Time Auto. So that's, I guess, the brand for the uh, gray one. I do not know if they make other cars. And this is the branding for the white one, Auto Mint. Which is pretty cool. Limited edition, right? Pretty sweet, pretty sweet, awesome. And something cool about this white one is that it does have the licensed official license product. Now the gray one does not have it in the box, in the packaging, this one does, but who knows, right? I like them both. And like I said, I'll be swapping the wheels on that, make it look better. And I'll show you guys later when I do that. Uh, so here's my uh, V-Dub meat, right? We got a car meat here, pretty sweet. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, I'll be adding maybe um, those green light ones, maybe a few of those, I don't know. Well, I'll let you guys uh, go. Thank you for checking this video out and uh, catch you guys later. Bye.